and I'm a product manager for Datadog APM. Uh, Datadog is your one-stop shop for everything that involves monitoring. We usually talk about the three pillars of observability. Those would be infrastructure monitoring, so machine level health, logs, the idea that we can pull in logs from anywhere in your stack into one queryable place, and then APM application performance monitoring, one level above the machine, um, health, level, uh, health metrics about your application itself. Um, not part of this demo or a couple of other features that we're unveiling at Dash, feel free to look at the Dash keynote for everyone who's looking at the video kind of later on. Look at uh, things like synthetics and serverless and things like that. Okay. To APM itself, once you've set up APM, you get this service map kind of for free. The idea is that here you get a full architecture diagram, uh, dynamic and live updated of your own stack. This saves a lot of overhead in maintaining documentation. It's fantastic for engineer onboarding. And in case you have a bit of legacy in your stack, what tends to happen is that there is some dependency on an old service that no one remembers was built by a team that everyone left three years ago. This tends to unveil that. Happens more often than you'd think. And then finally, it gives us these like health status checks that we can dig into. And if I inspect that, we can like dig deeper and deeper. We can see here that you're not bound to stay in APM. You can actually jump into uh, monitors or logs or the host map and continue your investigation from there. In our case, we're going to dig deeper within the realm of APM. So now we are scoped to the web store, right? Uh, web store in our particular case is a Ruby web app. Um, and we can see that there are four alerts on it. If I click into that, we'll be able to see that we have some alerts kind of set up and read a bit more about them. Uh, the Datadog philosophy is that we will never spam you. We will suggest kind of best practice monitors, and if you want to use them, you just have to uh, click once and you're opted in, but you don't have to. After that, we have kind of the APM bread and butter, aggregate views of um, latency, um, throughput, and errors. And we have like different slices and dices of those. Under those, we have runtime metrics. In the case of Ruby, um, we have all of these that are grabbed from, I believe, the Ruby compiler. I'm a Python engineer by trade, so pardon me all Ruby engineers. 